Tuesday afternoon, running home. It is cold out. At least it's sunny. I'm just hoping there's not too much wind. Today was supposed to be a nice and easy day, but things got a little bit hectic towards the end of the day, as the end of days tend to get. And now I'm running uh, about 15 minutes late. Made it home early, picked up a couple of minutes on the run home. Got the uh, swim bag, now I'm back out. Hop on this bus to pick up the girls for some fun. Six point zero seven miles, seven minutes, 49 seconds per mile on my accidental tempo run today. It was supposed to be a leisurely 10 mile run at recovery run pace. My legs are a bit tired, seventh day in a row running, but sometimes uh, life gets in the way and Tuesdays are especially tough for us and that's the day that life tends to most frequently get in the way for me. Uh, last week, the one day that I had off in the week was a Tuesday. This week, uh, Tuesday, also hard. Uh, I mean, from the outset, it, it's tough because Tuesday is a day that my daughter has yoga and so she has to bring a yoga mat to school and she frequently asks for me to carry it for her. And then we also have swim class in the evening and uh, the girls are both, uh, well, my daughter's probably old enough to carry her own swim bag, but I just carry all the swim stuff for all three of us. I get in the pool with the baby. Um, so I have to bring all that as well. And because I don't wanna run around with it during the day, I usually leave the swim bag at home. So then my run commute stops at home first, pick up the bag, and then go pick up the girls. Then relying on uh, Chicago Transit Authority uh, and the bus system to get us to the swim school in time. And that's uh, always harder to do in the winter than it is in the summer. Not only because of the temperatures, because it also, the winter time is just harder on the bus and the mass transportation system. And so relying on buses in the winter is always uh, a difficult proposition at best. Throw in two small children who get cold very easily. Not that my children get cold easily. All children get colder easily because they're smaller. It just makes for an already stressful day. And then, you know, once scheduling things start to happen and the day gets away from you, it's tough. But we made it to swim class on time today. My daughters like to get there a little bit early so I could feed them something before they hop in the pool. Uh, but we didn't have time for that. They ate something on the bus on the way to swim class. And basically, I had to get them into the locker room real quick, get them in their swim clothes, and then essentially jump in the pool with them. And so uh, feeling very rushed. Um, but we got it all done. And things were... Great, I felt like I won the day ultimately because I got my run in, got everyone to everywhere they needed to go on time, got everything done at work that I needed to. But then as we were leaving, we noticed that my baby's jacket was gone. Someone at the swim class had, I'm going to assume, inadvertently taking my baby's winter coat. I had hung it up on a rack. Now this is a place that doesn't have locker rooms. I can't show you footage from in there because it's a locker room and it's co-ed and families, so there's children. But, um, you know, there's cubbies where you could put your things and it's honor system because after all, it's just families and parents, people bringing their kids for swim class. Everything in our cubby was fine, uh, but the jacket was hanging on a hook with a scarf on it. The scarf was still there, but the jacket was gone. And so that was frustrating. I looked all over for it. I have a tendency to lose things all the time. So I was sure it was my fault, but the scarf was there. So I knew that that's where I had put it. And I looked all over. I looked through as many of the lockers, uh, locker rooms, changing rooms as I could. I didn't see it there. And so we had to take a taxi home. I called a taxi uh, using Uber 
and we ho went home that way because uh, there's no way I could have taken the baby uh, without her jacket. She did have a sweater on, but without her jacket uh, to wait for the bus. It was about like 15 degrees out at the time. Oh, it's a cold wind. Ooh, you feel that? Yeah. It's cold. Uh, oh, it's cold. Oh, thanks. So, um, I mean, we were super cold just walking to swim class from the bus stop. And uh, there's no way we would have like survived. Uh, she maybe we was uh, yeah. I don't know. It would have been close, uh, depending on how long the bus would have taken to pick us up. It, it could have been real bad for the baby. So obviously not something that we could have done. And so uh, we had to take a taxi home, which was something we had been planning on doing anyway, cause, just because it was that cold. But without the jacket, then we definitely had to do it that way. Uh, and that just kind of like set me off for the rest of the night. Uh, something that I have a problem with a little bit of a character flaw is I don't just get hangry. I uh, go to the next level uh, of it and it just ruins the rest of my day. And on an evening where I should have felt accomplished, I was just feeling miserable and resentful and angry. And so that wasn't very good. Uh, I mean, the thing that frustrated me the most about it, it wasn't like someone took the coat because they needed a coat or wanted a coat or thought it was particularly valuable. This is a swim school in Lincoln Park in Chicago. <music> Uh, so I did try to kind of relax myself a little bit once I realized I was flying off the handle a little bit and uh, trying to deal with those kinds of things. Uh, but I mean, this is something that happened to my baby. If it happened to me, that's one thing. So something I'm working on, uh, being mindful of when I'm hungry and when things are upsetting me, being mindful of when I'm stressed, uh, doing to scheduling, things like that, and trying to just take it more reasonably trying to be more normal uh, about uh, my emotional responses to stressful stimuli. I mean, I, I deal with a lot of stressful stuff at work. And so I usually handle that really well. But like by the end of the day, like my, my ability to like handle stress uh, like diminishes as the day wears on. And that was at the way end of the day, not excusing myself. I should have handled it better. I wish I could have handled it better, especially in front of my girls. But um, you know, uh, something to work on for next time. Uh, that's all I have for today. But before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the charity runner for the week. It's 40 runs. He's going to be taking a team of runners, 10 people, two days, 170 miles for the Ragnar Relay in the UK. Uh, and they're going to be raising money the entire time for Teens Unite. It's a charity in the UK that aims to provide emotional and social support for teens and young adults affected by cancer. And their current big mission is to raise enough money to build a permanent facility where they could have retreats where teens can meet each other and, great, and gain strength by shared experiences. Something that I think all runners can relate to, uh, but something I think is especially important when we're talking about getting through cancer and maintaining survival rates. I think that's gonna be really important. And that's why I was so happy to be able to donate 70 pounds to 40 and his fundraising efforts. If you'd like to learn more about Teens Unite or what 40 is doing, I'll have links in the description so you could check those out. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?